Today's video features uh, one of the most uh, exciting up and coming players, if you even can call him an up and coming. I mean, he, he's already, he currently sits at a world ranking of 15 in the world. He's already been as high as uh, number nine. I'm of course talking about Yannick Sinner and he's only 21 years old. So he's surely uh, a guy to, to really watch out for. I mean, I really feel like in the, in the very near future, he'll probably be contending for that, that number in one spot. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Do you think uh, Yannick Sinner is going to be number one in the world at some point? But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to share this footage with you guys. This uh, footage is recorded about over a year ago when I played in the Stockholm Open 2021. I was playing both singles and doubles during the tournament and uh, yeah, Yannick was playing the, the singles tournament, but he arrived early on Sunday and his first match wasn't until Wednesday. So we actually got along well and, and had like three, four hits throughout the week. But on Monday, like most people, they don't really have like long practices, um, long tennis practices during tournaments. They probably mostly spend uh, more time like in the gym, maybe preparation, getting like maybe working on some small things, but not necessarily like real practices. But because it was there early and uh, didn't have a match until Wednesday after arriving on Sunday, so he wanted a little longer practice on, on Monday and, and I was there and yeah, we ended up having a, a really good training session. It wasn't that long, obviously it was only like probably an hour, I think. But uh, yeah, we ended up playing some points and, and different things. So yeah, I'm really excited to share this footage with you guys. I'll, I'll make sure to, to talk through it a little bit, the feeling of, of hitting with a top 10 player. I think he was top 10 at that point I, and I'm pretty sure he was number nine. Uh, during the time of uh, filming this and, and he was trying to have a good tournament in order to to try to make a last push in order to make it to the the top eight uh, world tour finals in the end first of all guys i, I need to apologize for uh, the angle that i'm filming this this practice in I, I didn't have much choice unfortunately and and hope you guys can forgive me for that but as you see we're playing on on a kind of like a back practice court and the walls I don't really know what it is, but it's like they're attached or there's there's pretty much no no other place that I could put the camera Obviously I could put it behind but then the walls are kind of slim So we actually get kind of close to the camera and didn't want to have an issue with that So kind of had to put it to the side, but hope the, the good good tennis can make up for that So to begin the practice here what we're kind of doing here uh, his coach is a uh, legendary coach Piatti uh, if you guys might know but yeah he kind of instructed us when we begin the practice to you know uh, I start off with a little higher ball and then slowly increase the intensity but I think the idea here is to really feel like you're uh, getting your getting your wrist uh, nice and loose and trying to work on and creating the speed there with the right parts of your body with the right muscles and really getting that whip effect uh, nice and, and calmly getting that that effect going so uh, yeah just getting the feet in in order and moving around a little bit trying to mimic the ball and yeah, really just feel the ball and uh, then as we kind of progress here you know we start increasing the tempo a little bit still still on the same ball there I don't know how many times we hit it over here but we kept it going for a while and uh, but yeah, just really trying to get the rhythm here. I believe his coach was talking a lot about you know like tempo and and rhythm. So uh, that's a lot here. You know, that's one of the really tricky parts when you get to high levels. I think in, in anything uh, doesn't necessarily have to be be sports or uh, such. But when you get there, when everyone is very good at what they do, it kind of comes down to how. How you can handle your emotions and i guess that's where a lot of people you know they talk about like mentally and, and, and stuff during tennis practices but uh yeah you can pick that word if you want to but for me it's more about you know not getting stressed not trying to do too much not trying to get not trying to get passive not trying to do enough um so it's it's always just a very very fine line and uh, tricky with the balance there so I think that's where we're really trying to work here though, you know, finding the tempo, finding the rhythm and obviously as we increase the tempo, we're still trying to have the rhythm of the tempo so you don't like start rushing things or anything, we're still finding the tempo of the tennis ball, pretty much. And I feel like, uh, yeah, following up on that, I, f I feel like that's something very good to think about when it, when it comes to tennis, I mean, I sometimes like to think of it as more of a dance, you know, you have to kind of follow along with the rhythm of the tennis ball, the way the ball moves, you have to kind of find the pace of the ball 
and uh, hit and move accordingly. But yeah, as you can see here, to start off the practice, we're just really, really just rallying, and the guy rarely misses. And when he can step into it, he, he really, really can smack the ball. But one thing that I find so, uh, I mean, amazing, maybe it's the right, right world, uh, word, but uh, when it comes to center, like, I feel like he gets so much effect on the ball. Like, he gets so much RPM, like, his ball really really gets so much spin so he really can play with a lot of height and marginals but still he gets that that heaviness on the ball and I think he's just extremely good at handling his body weight and weight transfer and uh, if you if you guys are aware I mean he used to be a, a really good skier uh, he's I think he's from like the Italian Alps um, so like ski ski area but yeah he's obviously been training his legs a lot and is very good at, at handling weight there as that's one of the key things you know if, you, if you're a, a skier I think it was like a downhill maybe going uh, slalom I don't know if that's the right word in English but yeah so obviously he's very good with the weight transfer in his legs and how he handles that and uh, you can really see it here in his tennis game how well he is at like you know loading on his legs and just transferring it forward so obviously here, I mean, I wanted to cut down the footage uh, as much as I could, but I think this is still like the first four four balls that we're hitting, or so four or five balls, and uh, I mean, I'm playing well here. Obviously, I'm not missing a lot of shots, even though he's uh, really just ripping balls and playing like full tempo here. Me too, and yeah, we're just playing very solid tennis. But finally, take a little break, and then uh, we start getting into some more drills. If you're enjoying the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up maybe if, if you're enjoying it. If you haven't done so already, I mean, if you subscribe to the channel, it really will help out a lot and it will keep the videos coming. I'll make sure to take you guys uh, along with me on this, this amazing journey we're about to embark, embark on. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun in the future, but make sure to, to hit that subscribe and uh, notification button so you won't miss out on anything. So after a quick little break, we uh, start getting into some more Kind of controlled drills if you want to call it that so the idea here is i begin with hitting a down the line forehand and then i hit a cross forehand, and i'm really trying to pressure him there uh, to get a tough ball on his forehand but it's not it's not as easy as uh, it might sound because he always hits his back end pretty pretty heavy but yeah starting off these points with uh, with this one really solid hand for him I, I think there's something that maybe doesn't get enough attention when it comes to his game i mean he does have extremely good feel around the court and obviously that combined with his movement it's uh yeah it's kind of the full package so i mean really tough first point and uh yeah the point right after is, is another really solid point here i i feel like i did a good job there getting good depth on the forehand coming forward but yeah he just flicks right past me with that backhand it's i mean he has such such a loose wrist it's just so tricky to to see where he's gonna go you feel like he's at any point he's, he's able to go whatever direction he wills and uh yeah, he's just so confident with it and has such good marginals. And another great point by him there. I mean, you see what I was talking about with the wrist. Like, he gets that forehand that he likes and uh, a little deeper ball. I'm, I'm covering that one, so instead he just decides to, to kind of flick it and hit me with a little angle for it instead, and, and I have nowhere to, to get that one. Good point by me there with back, and I, I kind of like the way I hit that down the line, but then maybe got a little rushed with that, uh, that back and cross court. I mean, I, I do kind of recall that all these points were very high level and I, I don't think I, I cut out too much any of these points that we, we played. It, this, is, this is like all the play, all the points we play kind of look like this. But yeah, such a good job by him, you know, coming forward. And, and as I mentioned, he has great hands. And even though I feel like I do a good job there, like hitting maybe a little nasty slice that a lot of people could struggle with, he just hits right through it. Not the greatest hands here by him there, but uh, you can really see how, like, the pace that he gets on that backhand before, like, how loose he is, and even though he, he really rips it full power, you just really feel that he's in control the whole way through with the ball, and that really comes from, you know, being uh, very confident and, and being very loose in the wrist, so you really get the, the control from that effect you put on the ball. But yeah, after a couple of those points, uh, we get into the next drill here. I think uh, Piatti wanted me to, or us, to kind of start off by just hitting back and slices to each other. 
and whenever uh, Yannick liked the ball he would uh, move around it like this and uh, kind of hit me with that forehand and then we'll just play the point from there so he was actually playing against Andy Murray in the first round so I don't know if this is like specific drill to try to prepare him for Andy Murray or uh, it's just overall something that he's just working on uh, you know stepping into those little slower slices or maybe hitting his back and slice to mix up the game more yeah once again he hits me with that that loose wrist um, it's so tough because I mean, you have to cover the angle down the line because if yeah he can go there but then he has such a loose wrist that he can really just snap it over cross court and yeah it's, it's a tricky guy to play against but one of the one of the biggest issues uh, I would say playing against a guy of his level is the fact that he feels so calm on the court and you you feel like he just doesn't rush anything he always knows what what he wants to do with every shot every ball and he just just follows that every time and just I, I don't know you just feel like he knows exactly what he's supposed to do and what he wants to do with every shot that he hits obviously he misses some he he makes some but still you always feel like he's 110 committed and trusts the shot that he he's going to hit or that he hits so yeah we're taking a little break here after that slice drill so after a little quick quick little break uh we get back to it and for this drill i think it was that his coach would just pretty much feed the ball and then uh, yannick would have to hit it to the corner i was I, I can't remember exactly if it was like he had to go cross court he had to go line or something like that but yeah so what i think they're working on is just him just stepping into the ball and just hitting those massive shots like that one but um yeah i mean here obviously it's kind of tricky for me as a sinner begins with a really heavy ball but then i'm trying my best to to get the ball back with depth and so he's not able to step in on the next one but he's just so good at it, even though i feel like i i get really good depth on it at this point Yes, I finally managed to win that one after a tweener, but as I was mentioning, even though I feel like I get really good depth on the ball, he's just so strong in his legs and he just stays down and really just counters my, my power and just get his back, gets it back against me with like really good depth. And that's what makes it so tricky, you know, playing against these players because it's, it's such a constant battle of who's going to give a little shorter ball first because everyone at this level is so good at when you get the shorter ball to come forward uh, like this and figure something out but no just uh when you get a little shorter ball everyone's so good at you know really hurting you with those so you have to constantly keep the ball deep and look for that depth but the other guy's so good at responding with depth, so it's tricky to get away from it but uh just trying to figure something out and and try to trust that you're picking the right shot over and over again and just stick with that as much as you can so we're kind of approaching the the end of this practice and uh, we did a couple more of these points but then I think I can't remember exactly but I'm pretty sure after uh, they just did a couple of like serve and the return drills just him and his coach and they kind of just did it pretty calmly and they were working on some stuff I'm pretty sure I, I picked up my things and but yeah me and my my fitness coach I maybe we went to the gym or something and, and got our things in order but overall it was a great practice and I really enjoyed it so yeah, that wraps up the practice and uh, yeah, huge thanks to uh, Sinner's team for, for letting me record the session and uh, yeah, for the great session, had a great, uh, had a lot of fun and, and yeah, huge props to, to Yannick for really being a great inspiration and uh, also just uh, overall just being a very nice guy. I mean, he's uh, just so professional all around the court and, and really just works hard, but also does it with a smile on his face. So yeah, huge props to him and, and huge thank you to him and his team. Yeah, huge thank you to all you guys as well for, for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you took something out of it or, or at least maybe watch some, some good tennis points or good tennis uh, shots. Um, but yeah, overall, thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't done so already, I mean, please hit that uh, subscribe button or put on the notifications to make sure you don't miss out on any of the future videos coming soon. Uh, we have a lot of fun stuff to do in the future. It's gonna be a lot more uh, current videos as I'm gonna try to to get into more of a rhythm of uh, yeah releasing footage about a week or so after I've recorded it if it's practices or matches or uh, or whatever but uh, yeah thanks again for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah 
see you guys in the next one